I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Thurgood Marshall, the first African American to serve as a judge on the Supreme Court. I take two fingers from the top in the center and I put a dot. And from that dot going towards the left, I'm going to draw curve line down, curve line out, curve line in, and leave it floating. Come back to the dot, straight line, curve line down, little curve line, and connect. Come on the left hand side right here and we're just going to draw a big curve line down and off the page. Come back up on the right hand side, we're going to do it again. Big curve line down, off the page. Come right down here in the center, we're just going to draw a straight diagonal, curve line up, connect, come on the right, straight diagonal, come up, curve line, connect. Right here in the center, curve line, curve line off the page on the left, curve line off the page on the right. Come inside and let's draw one, two curve lines and over here on the top, one, two curve lines. Okay. Come over here on the left, we're just going to draw a little straight line. And we're going to come up and draw curve line, curve line down, curve line, curve line over, curve line, straight line out. Come back over to the left, now we're going to draw a straight line, curve line down, curve line, curve line down, straight line off the page. Come right above and we're just going to put a little wavy line on the left, little wavy line on the right. Come on the inside on the left and let's just draw a straight line, curve line, connect on the left, straight line, curve line, connect on the right. Inside, little curve line, curve line connect, little curve line, curve line connect. Come right here in the center, curve line in, up, in, up, and leave it floating. Come over here on the left, wavy line down, wavy line up, connect, wavy line down, wavy line up, connect. Right underneath, slightly curved line. Now come over here on the left and we're just going to draw a wavy line up, Wavy line over, wavy line down, connect. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to color Supreme Court Justice Thurgood Marshall light brown all the way around and up. Jump over, light brown all the way around and up and don't forget the inside part of his glasses. Now his glasses are the most definitive thing about him when I looked at him. And then the second thing, you're going to do this brown also, was that he's not smiling in too many of his pictures, if at all. And I figure that's because he was so responsible for so many heavy legal decisions he was just very, very serious. So this is all going to be light brown. Okay. Then I'm going to take gray. And I'm going to double color. I'm going to do, first I'm going to do gray on his mustache. Then I'm going to do gray on his hair. Then I'm going to bring it down and do gray on his eyebrows, left and right. And then I'm going to take my black. And I'm going to color his eyes black. I'm going to lightly color, double color his mustache, his eyebrow, and his hair. Just a little bit of black. Not a lot. 
little bit of black. Then, the next big thing are his glasses. So his glasses are all black, horned rim, called those black horn rim glasses. And he's usually pictured in his Supreme Court robes. So I'm going to take my black and do his robes. Like I said, he's kind of a serious guy. So we're going to do his robes black and pretty much the only little bit of color that he seemed to let himself have was his tie so once we finish our black robes I gave him and this is just me I gave him a red white and blue tie which he probably never would have worn but hey I'm an artist you're an artist so you can do your tie any color you want this is just what I did just to give him a little bit of color okay now the background I went ahead and I just did blue So I'm just doing a light loop-de-loop -loop all the way around. Now I've seen pictures of him in a library with books in the background. I've seen him in front of the American flag, obviously in the Supreme Court chambers or maybe his office. But just to keep him simple and really to show how dynamic he himself was as a person, I just did a plain blue background. So if you want to spruce it up a little bit with your own ideas for a background, this is when you would do it. Okay? Let's see what he looks like all colored in. Okay, here is Third Good Marshall all colored in. He was the architect of the legal strategy that ended segregation in our country and was very important for racial equality during the Civil Rights Movement. A true American hero. Okay, bye-bye.